Well, Mamta Banerjee, the Srinamul Congress announcing the 42 candidates for Lok Sabha from Bengal is the end of the India Front Alliance, at least between the TMC and the Congress. All along, the Congress party had been hoping against hope, and that was one reason why it had decided that it's not going to be attacking Mamta Banerjee. But I think they got the cue when the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra entered the Bengal leg, and it was the same day when Mamta Banerjee announced that she's going to fight it alone. But this, the several appeals kept on going out from Jairam Ramesh and other Congress leaders. In fact, so much so, Rahul Gandhi refrained from attacking the state government. Whatever attack was taking place was coming in from Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the Behrampur MP, and that is because he has a reason. The more he attacks Mamta Banerjee, the more it helps him in his constituency. But he was also put, pulled up by the Congress leadership because, remember, he had called Derek O'Brien a foreigner and then he was asked to apologize, which he did. Even when the Sondesh Khali incident broke out, while Adhir kept on attacking and questioning the state government, the central leaders were told, please don't do it because we don't want to upset Mamta Banerjee. But when at the brigade ground rally, Mamta Banerjee flaunted all the 42 names, it was very clear then to the Congress that it's completely over. Jairam Ramesh, of course, expressed concern, saying we were hoping against hope. But Adi Ranjan Chaudhary, as usual, did not mince his words. He said it is very clear that while they were fighting the BJP at the state level, at the center, the TMC and the BJP are friends. And it's very clear that Mamata Banerjee is a B team of the BJP and completely working against India front. But Adi Ranjan Chaudhary's future also lies in a lot of suspense and apprehension. He's been a member of parliament from Behrampur for over four times. But this time round, he faces a strong anti-incumbency and a tough competition for the TMC's candidate, former cricketer, Yusuf Pathan. Now, Yusuf Pathan may be an outsider, but you know, in Bengalis love their cricket, they love their sports. This is a factor which could work in his favor. Second, Behrampur has over 52% minority population. That is a population which has always voted for Adhir, which is one reason why he has been attacking Mamta Banerjee not to cede space to her. Now there's going to be competition from Yusuf Pathan. Also, for all you know, the people over there may be looking for change. Now, in case the Congress loses Behrampur, it will be almost a wipeout for the state. But, you know, she's put up strong candidates in every seat, sends out a strong messaging. But at a time when the BJP seems to be gaining allies, making new friends, the Congress party losing out on the TMC is a huge blow to the India front. It's very clear that on 17th, when that mega rally of the India Front is planned in Mumbai, the Trinamool Congress is likely to be conspicuous by its absence. Mamta Banerjee actually believes that the Front could be a liability. While she wants to fight the BJP, she wants to do it at her own level. She clearly wants to make it a fight between the TMC and the BJP. Huge loss of face for Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, for the Congress Party. But more importantly, it's almost Kala Shesh as far as the India Front is concerned just up ahead of the electoral schedule which is expected to be announced soon.